I am using Premiere Pro for this example. Uh, this works in Final Cut, Final Cut X. It works in um, Sony Vegas, DaVinci, any type of nonlinear uh, post-production software this is gonna work in. It's also gonna work in After Effects. So this is obviously how I created these uh, elements. So here I am at Premiere. I've got my timeline, I've got some footage. This is the footage right here. It's dropped into my HD timeline. If I open up my settings, you're gonna see that. This is 24 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, typical square pixels, all that stuff. Not super important, but this is a, an HD timeline. And what I wanna show you is that uh, most of us work in HD, some of us do work in 4K, and these shape elements are all rendered at 4K resolution, which means they are 3840 by 2160. And let me just show you the advantage of working with 4K files. So if I just drag this onto my timeline, you're gonna see here, this file looks huge because this is at 100%. So if I scale this down, 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 all the way to 50%, you can see right here at 50%, that is an HD resolution. But because these are at 100% uh, 4K resolution, you have a lot more room to work with. So I can move these elements around. I have plenty of space to, extra pixel space to work with on the HD timeline. So that's the advantage of having HD or 4K files uh, working with HD. If you are working at 4K, you're still good to go. You just leave them at 100% scale and let them do their magic. So, okay, so now we've got an element. Actually, let's get rid of this element. Let's bring in maybe like this first, this bar element. Um, and just to mention, these are all in folders. If you download all of the elements, they're all gonna unzip into folders like this, bars, circles, miscellaneous, and then you just need to import them into your editor like I did here. So I'm gonna drag, let's bring this guy over here. And you'll immediately notice that, um, actually I covered that up. You're gonna immediately notice that there's black, right? These are all rendered on black. Well, there's really easy to uh, fix that we have to work with blending modes or transfer modes. And how we do that is we just open up, like in Premiere, we open up our effects window here where we have position scale. If we go down here to opacity, under blend mode, it's always set to normal. Well, we're gonna wanna work with like a screen mode or in this case, linear dodge add. And if I click that, you immediately see here's our nice glitch effect. It's the black is gone, the glow is there. I'm gonna hit play and you can see here's our glitch effect over the top of our footage. Super simple, already looks interesting, right? So maybe I want to bring this down. So I'm gonna move the position, just click it and drag and maybe bring it down. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's down here at the bottom. And what's really great about these elements and using transfer or blending modes is you can layer these elements one on top of the other and get completely new and interesting looks. So let's just go to circles and let's open up circle target and we're just gonna drag that one on top of here. There it is, there it is. Change the blending mode from normal to linear dodge add again. And now we've got an interesting circle on top of another layer here. And I'm gonna actually scale this one down. Oh maybe around 50%, maybe bring it up slightly. And if I play these back, you're gonna see, now we're getting a more interesting look, right? And uh, let's do, well, let's just double click and see what we got here. So I can see different ones here. So maybe I wanna bring that guy in here as well. And you can see that these are all different lengths, right? Some of these are set to be a second long, some of them are two seconds, some are just over a second, some are three seconds, some are up to 10 seconds. It just depends on what the element is, but they are all loopable, which I'll talk about that in the uh, just a minute here. So I'll set this one to add as well. And it's sitting over the top. And maybe I decide I wanna go ahead and turn off the horizontal color bars here. And let's go ahead and recenter this guy and see what we got here. Yeah, so that's cool too. So you can see we can just make some really interesting uh, different glitch effects, all types of stuff. If you don't want to use footage, and this is you know me just showing you a ex footage example, 
you can use these without footage, right? So this is just over black, turn these guys back on. It's the same principle. You just set these to screen or add, multiply, overlay, and you get completely different looks. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up Okay, so that's gonna wrap up this uh, very quick tutorial on how to download the elements, import them into your editor, and then just bring them into your timeline, drag and drop, set their transfer mode to something like add, screen, multiply, overlay, and you're gonna get some really awesome results. Thanks for watching.